The margins are the spaces that we leave between our important elements and content in our graphic. For example, in this artwork, I have a 1cm margin. Let's create a margin very quickly by creating a rectangle shape and I will fill it exactly to the shape of this artboard, to the size of this artboard. I press Shift X to change it to a stroke and then I will go to Object menu, Path and I will use Offset Path. The function of Offset Path is to expand or shrink our paths. So to create a 1cm margin, I will shrink it by 1cm, so I'll enter negative 1cm. Press OK, and now very easily we have created this guide that we can use as our margin. Now to turn this into a guide like this, just like the guide that you can see, just like the guide that you create by drag, just like the guide, just like the guide that you pull out from the ruler, we can select this path. Go to View Menu, Guides, and Make Guides. The shortcut key is Control 5 or Command 5 on Mac. So now you have a very clean guidelines. And if you look over here, there are four different columns over here. I would like to divide this margin. I would like to divide this box and split it into four columns like this and split it into four separate columns. In addition, I want to have a gap in the middle separating each of the column boxes. So to do that, I will reuse the shape that I've created just now. So I'll left click, go to object menu again, path, offset path. So I'll shrink this by 1cm again so that I'll get this shape again. And now, I will split this into four separate columns. To do that, go to Object menu, Path, and split into grid. Left click, make sure that we turn on the preview. So with split into grid function, we can split our shape into multiple numbers of row, or in this case, I want to have four columns. To create the gap, you can use the gutter setting to change the size of the gutter or the spacing. Once you're done, press OK. And now I will delete the original size because I don't need this anymore. Select everything and this time I will turn everything into guide. Just like this. At any time, if you want to adjust the size or the shape of this guide, you can select everything, go to view, guides and release the guide and it will return back to the normal usual path. So I can select all the guides that I want to adjust using the black arrow. I can scale it down. And then I'll just repeat, select everything and press Control or Command 5 to make guides. And now very easily, I can use my text tool and I can hold down left click and drag my text into the box.